Welcome back to Site Tech and Mountain SiteWorks Machine Guidance training videos. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can use your excavator to actually do stockpile measurements, just like you would if you walked it with the rover itself. But one thing that I wanted to show you is a stockpile like this that's kind of a mess. Let's say someone came and asked you to get us a measurement of this pile. And yeah, you can get it. It's not very big, but you've got a lot of ins and outs on the edges. The top's kind of a mess, and then if I show you this side over here, one thing that's always been a pet peeve for mine when I've had to do stockpile measurements is where you just got all these ins and outs and highs and lows, and it just, it takes a little while, it takes a little bit longer to do it with the rover where you got to get all that, but if you've got an excavator, you can go ahead and just climb on the pile real quick and knock the top off so it's even, and then you can just shoot it with the excavator and run the report. So let's go ahead and do it real quick. So I've got my machine set up. I'm in machine mode. I'm ready to go. I've got kind of a blank screen where I'm at. First thing we're going to do is just climb up on the pile. We're going to just hurry and knock the top off real quick. And then from the top, I'm going to reach down off the edges and actually clean it up and just uh, shoot it in just like I would if I was walking it with my, uh, my hand held. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of knock the top off right here, just make it relatively flat on the top. Then I'll pull a couple of my edges in, and then we'll just go ahead and we're going to set up doing a line string as a break line. You got to do all the same exact settings inside of SiteWorks, the same that you would if you were actually going to walk it. So now that I've got the flat top made that you can't normally do, I'm going to just pull in a couple of these wings that are down here so that I get as much of the quantity as I can. I'll just try to shape it up to where it's a decent sized pile. You don't have to spend forever on it, but you take a couple minutes and shape it up with the excavator. Now that I've got the pile about like I would like it, to, as if I were to walk it, let's go ahead and go into our mode here, into our measure type mode on the data collector, and we're going to go ahead and do our volume boundary first. I'll just call that the base, and we'll leave it as a volume boundary for the bottom. And then on my focus point right here, I can use left, center, right. I'm just going to go ahead and stay on the center. So we're going to go ahead and just shoot in a volume boundary, but staying right here, I can go ahead and just start shooting in points as if I was walking it. And right as we get back to there, I can see that I'm pretty well right by my first one. So I'm going to auto close this uh, boundary out right here. As soon as I close that out, now I can just do the typical what I would do on the top. We'll just call it the top. The edges are pretty close, but we'll make this a break line. And we'll go ahead and while I'm sitting on this side of the pile, I'll just do half of it. So I'm going to just start right at the top there using the middle of my bucket. Shoot a couple along the edge here. And then I'll go ahead and switch to the other side. Staying right about the top, best I can along the edge. Okay. 
Holding some about right there. I want to take a couple through the middle since there is kind of a high spot down through the middle. So I'm just going to continually measure with this line, making sure that I don't actually cross over my current line. I need to start a new one, not the end of the world. Let's take a couple more shots here. And there we go. I think we've got all that we need right there. So I can hit my menu. And I can hit measure. So now that I've got what I want, I can just go into the menu button, go down to Kogo, review and edit data. And right off the bat, it's already going to be on compute volume. All i got to do is select my outer boundary. I'm doing as a stockpile. I'm not doing a scale factor. We'll just run it. And boom, there's my number, 287.6 cubic yards in this pile. And it was much easier not having to walk it. It was much easier being able to knock it off, make it square. It's a much better volume, a better number, knowing that I've done it that way. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Mountain on SiteWorks machine guidance, using the machine or the excavator to actually shoot in a stockpile to flatten it out and make it what you need. Mm -hmm.